choice. That's a good choice of music. Good one. First of all, I'd like to start uh, by, on behalf of the, th of the team, thanking uh, Digiday, whoever that is, uh, for two things. Number one, thank you for this event. It's been amazing, such an opportunity to learn, and uh, I don't think it's something that I'll forget for a long time, if ever. I'm sure Amanda agrees. So good. Number two, uh, I'd like to thank you guys because we came in on Sunday uh, vulnerable and insecure. Uh, the green team came in and we sat down and we said, hey, we're at home. This is all green over here. Thank you. And uh, you guys told us out. it's okay, you're home and this is where you belong. So we really appreciate you guys for that. <laughs> yeah, so thanks everyone. Uh, so we have the Brief A. Uh, we have a uniquely shaped candy that's a legacy brand that is pleasant once you have it. So to us, that candy is lifesavers. Um, our situation is that moms, they love lifesavers. Uh, young transitionals, they aren't in love yet. So how do we make lifesavers relevant to this new younger audience? Spark a conversation, but more importantly, one that we can participate in with a brand voice that's authentic. That's such a huge question and so important for lifesavers to find an answer to it. And in order for us to find an answer to it, we need to really delve a little bit deeper into who these young transitionals are. We're complicated people, and I say we, because at 22 years old, I'm still in the middle of this stage. Um, and we really simplified it to uh, three characteristics and three behaviors. And if we start with the characteristics, we uh, go into the fact that we're ambitious people. You know, people, a lot of people believe we're lazy and that's not the case at all. We want to succeed and we work hard for it. But the fact is, and this goes into the second characteristic, that we're under a lot of pressure under intense pressure from all angles of life. We got our parents, we got our friends, we got the economy. I don't know who's following the news, but yesterday was not a pretty day on Wall Street. Um, and that goes really into the job market and, and, and the competition that we face every single day. Am I gonna have a job in the next few weeks? Am I gonna lose a job if I have it? Um, and that goes into the third thing. We, we have learned to focus on self-growth. We value uniqueness. So a way for a brand to talk to us and for us to receive that message is by the brand being unique itself. And then we go into the behavior. Number one is very obvious, not really gonna go into it. Socially connected people. We are socially connected people. Probably more so than any other generation ever. Number two, we're trend seekers. Whatever was new three months ago, it's now old. So a brand that is nimble enough to move around and find the new thing that young transitioners are into, that brand is gonna be heard. And number three, we really, really appreciate humor. But don't take my word for it. If you don't believe me, we go into our competitive set and we can see that, where is it? Oh, Skittles, Snickers, and Sour Patch, brands that I love myself, all have a very, very, very funny message. And I do think it's funny, honestly. But the problem here is that funny is where it all stops. So that's the opportunity. Our young transitionals don't just need a laugh, they need someone to help them get through that transitional moment, that hard moment, that moment that feels like their life is over, and be there for them and help them get through that. And that's the opportunity for lifesavers. They can take that humor, add some utility, give them something they can use, the X factor being it's gotta be relatable above all else, if it's not, this isn't gonna work, and that can be our sweet spot. That's our brand voice, that we're there with that humor plus the utility. So our big idea, our bigger idea, it's our presentation's not working. It's not transitioning. What? Transitional is not transitioning. This is you? <laughs> Lifesaver what? Got it. <laughs> and this is Got it, got it, got it. it. Okay. About? A mouth full of lifesavers, a mind at ease. <laughs> got it. Good. Oh, you got one? Um, so let's actually meet our life coach. At the end of the day, <laughs> Lifesavers is not just a candy, it is a brand that has your back in moments like this where you're freaking out and everything's going wrong and pretty much my whole career was just over right then. Um, but Lifesavers was there for me and they helped me with her hilarious and irreverent humor um, to help me, a little old transitional, um, get through this challenge. And they're gonna be with me to take that break, take that moment, have a Lifesaver and realize that it's fine, y'all laughed with me and I'm, not, I'm gonna have a job when I go back, it's gonna be fine. So there's three different conversations or content pillars that our Lifesavers coach is gonna be interacting with transitionals in and providing personalized, funny, humorous, but still useful advice. And that's career, love, and then life as they know it. At the end of the day, they might not always have a solu solution. We can't give everyone a job, we can't find everyone a husband, but 
we can give everybody a lifesaver and give them a minute to take a breath and realize that it's not the end of the world and they're going to make it through. So how do we introduce the lifesaver coach to the world uh, and to college students everywhere? We thought that the first step would be an event that we're all very familiar with. If your graduation was anything like mine, it's an event that mixes extreme happiness with a lot of stress. Happiness because you're happy for yourself, you're happy for your family, you made it great. Stress because you're like, shit, I don't have a job yet, and the clock is ticking, and my mom's congratulations is gonna become get out of my house in T minus seven days. I need to find a job. So we, we, we figured that this would be a great moment for Lifesaver and Lifesaver Coach to sweep in and make things a little better for our young transitionals, right? We'll walk into graduations with different activations that do help with life, right? But also insert a little bit of humor there so we could all feel better about things. Five colleges, some examples being like CU, UT, Hookham, some places that our judges might be familiar with. <laughs> so they can visualize what it would be like to walk across that stage into our experience. And what are things that we would do? Number one, we would bring uh, a life server coach, obviously, and the influencer squad, and we would give out career aptitude tests with a little bit of humor in them. Number two, we would have socially enabled corporate headshots, uh, affordables in campus, where people could take pictures, fun pictures with props that they would Either share Facebook, online. Facebook, maybe it's do your new LinkedIn photo, maybe it shouldn't be, maybe the life coach will help you with that. Number three, and I like this one, we'll take care, we'll take advantage of virtual reality um, to bring these young transitionals into their life in a cube in an office, <laughs> which doesn't sound too exciting, right? but it should be something that they uh, wake them up to real life. Then we move on to a real life starter kit giveaway with free ties and socks. And lifesavers. And, and also a barber for haircuts. If you guys have been in a, co in a college campus, uh, anytime within the last few months, you'll see that, that we need barber shops around so there. So the unique thing about that, all of that is totally about getting earned media and being super shareable past those five co co college campuses. We've got the career aptitude test. We'll also live online, you can see Maybe it's gonna help you find your ideal career, but it's gonna help you identify that your free spirit is what maybe is your most defining feature. It's gonna help you get to that next step. In love, Valentine's Day rolls around. We are gonna get you a relationship advice generator, all personalized, no cookie cutter answers here. Put in everything that's actually happening to you on Tinder, not on Tinder, and get you some real life advice that you need. Trevor, maybe it's time to put a ring on it. <laughs> Um, and then last but not least, we're going to be mining social media to find all those moments that maybe they really need us. Maybe you're a Burning Man and there are bugs all over and you could really use a lifesaver. Well, Lifesaver Coach will be there with a lifesaver with an idea on how to survive your music festival, your test tomorrow, your first day of work, whatever it is, we'll be there with a response and maybe even in person. So you're saying life, love, and... Career, like this. And, I mean, as a young transitional, I know, I mean, God knows I need help with those things, right? Yeah. So... so we will be there for you all year, as you can tell, Frank, Thank on you. our money slide here, literally. One million dollars all going to content and a little bit of paid social to boost things. Um, building out that brand channel that doesn't exist right now, which is going to definitely be an opportunity for us and a challenge. And then activating on real life, real time events. By September, we'll have our first Emmy loser. January, college football rolls around. UT's not in the playoffs. I'm going to need a lifesaver. And we'll be there in those moments socially and maybe even in person. So then, uh, to sum it all up, if we look at things, we want to be around these events to create more of an organic conversation throughout the year, and then we'll support that with more of a paid conversation, right? To bring in more traction to the Lifesaver brand and change the face of the Lifesaver coach in front of all of our young transitionals that right now don't really have an idea Lifesavers exists. So thank you very much. Thanks for staying with us. Remember, Lifesavers has your back. If you need a Lifesaver, we've got plenty. <laughs> thank you. We didn't give you two full minutes, but questions? Um, can you clarify, so how quick do you, are you going to have like actual real life life coaches on the ground doing things like street, is that you know street team, like Red Bull-esque kind of? Yeah, so first we have to introduce our actual Lifesaver coach who is a person, she has a personality, but then she has a squad. And after we've launched her at those experiences, then those squad street teams will start popping up all over at different kind of opportunities that we've identified based on what's going on. Yeah, cool. I 
can see how the, the love connection piece makes a lot of sense. Talk to me about how consumers or this young transitional audience is going to take Lifesavers seriously from a career aptitude standpoint. How do you make that jump? I think that there it's less about we're going to help you find a career and more about that we get that that's what's on your mind. We just, when we looked at our research, that was one of the main stresses and we know that it's not, we can't give everyone a job, right? And the but thing is you have the tools. If you went to college and you graduated, you have the tools. You just need a minute to realize that you have it and that's what that is kind of more to bring bring up what you know about yourself is already your assets. And the thing is that no, no other brand, especially in the category, is talking about this, right? So, so just the fact that we will even mention this, right, that we will talk a little bit about this, will be appreciated, and they will listen, right? And they will even appreciate it more that we add some humor into it. So it won't be just dumb humor, it'll be humor with a purpose. So I think that will We're be appreciated. We're thinking like our life coach is a little Amy Schumer. She's hilarious, but she's really smart. So yeah. she's, she's not just dumb, blonde, funny, she's got a little brains up there. We're kind of, I think we might be able to. Last question. Yeah. Uh, so say this succeeds, how are you gonna sustain it? after first iteration? So we talked about this, uh, okay. and, and what we came out, the, the conclusion that we came up to is, if, because right now Lifesaver doesn't really have a social media presence, right? And we said, should we start more of a social media presence for the Lifesaver coach only, or Lifesavers as a brand? We thought that starting a media presence for Lifesaver coach only was a bad idea, only because it wouldn't really translate for the long term. If we really make Lifesaver the one brand that's gonna come and help you out, and the Lifesaver coach the person who's there actually to, to do it right, the face at the moment, I think we'll be able to transition then into something else when the time arrives. She is the brand voice, so everything that comes out of the brand, it's her talking, it's, it's, she's universal. All right, we have to end it there, Sorry. unfortunately. Thank you, guys. Um, Good job, guys.